Greetings and welcome to another musical adventure in time travel. Today I'm going to discuss this amazing instrument made by a very affordable company called um, Mid-East Ethnic Instruments. This is the evocation of one of the biblical lyres called the Nevel. What is a Nevel? Well, to find out the full details, please visit the historical research section of my website, ancientlyre.com. And this discusses in detail the biblical lyres there are two types of biblical lyres, um, the Nevel and the Kinor. And we know this from both um, the biblical text and also more significantly from the writings of the first century Jewish historian Flavius Josephus, who actually witnessed the Levites play their lyres in the Temple of Jerusalem to accompany the singing of the Levitical Ensemble. Amazing stuff. What does um, Josephus tell us? Well, he says that the... Um, Novell had 12 strings and the Kinor had 10 strings. Also, uh, another um, text we know um, is the Mishnah. The Mishnah tells us um, actually about the proportion of the lyres played in the Temple of Jerusalem by the Levites. It describes the fact that there were nine Kinors and more may be added in the Levitical Ensemble only two novels. Now this might suggest that the novel might have been a bass instrument because in a modern string orchestra there are proportionately less bass instruments than there are treble. But in other words there's a lot more violins and double basses and cellos. Fascinating stuff. Uh, actually, about the actual instrument itself, the Hebrew root of the word novel, nev, means carcass. So presumably it had a skin membrane, very similar to the ancient Greek lyra and barbatos. These were lyres made with um, skin membranes stretched over a tortoiseshell resonator. The Barbatos was a bass register lyre, presumably very similar to this one, whereas the Lyra was more in the treble sort of alto range. Incredible stuff. So, um, very briefly, the recordings I've used with Mid-East Ethnic Instruments Evocation of the Biblical uh, Novel um, was my album called The Ancient Biblical Lyre available on iTunes and Amazon, and also I've used it to evoke the sound of the ancient Greek lyra in my album Apollo's Lyre. Um, in Apollo's Lyre, the tracks I've used to evoke the, the sound of the lyra were an ode to Orpheus and ode to Athena. Check them out all on iTunes and Amazon. And also please leave a nice juicy review. <laughs> That's all the plugs out of the way with the... Um, Right, so on to the actual instrument itself, made by Mid-East Ethnic Instruments. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, incredibly affordable. This only cost about £120. I think I got it from the early music shop in Bradford, uh, in the UK here. Um, and it's a very unique sound. It's halfway between a harp, a guitar and a banjo. A really unique, evocative sound. Um, so... Right, disadvantages. The main disadvantage is the number of strings they have on the thing. For some reason, instead of 12 strings or 10 strings, they have 15 flaming strings. Now this is like trying to play a piano without the black notes. There's just no landmark to find the notes, so it's very, very difficult to precisely and very quickly find the um, number of the right notes in the thing. Uh, very, very difficult indeed. <laughs> um, so that's one of the main problems, and that also causes another problem. I found after about six months of playing the thing, it started to warp. The actual string tension was folding the thing inwards, so I had to actually take it in to get repaired, and um, I had this strengthening bar, a bit like an open back banjo. I've had that put in, so that's one of the main disadvantages. Other disadvantages, besides the number of strings, was the slippy tuning pegs. But to get around this, put a bit of violin bow rosin. I must take the peg out and put some violin bow rosin in and tune it down a tone um, so it's under less tension and this I find generally works. So to get over the problems um, with the number of strings, uh, recently I got so fed up of trying to find the notes on the thing that I took about five strings out. I'll just turn it this way so you can see what I've done. In the bass strings I've taken every other peg, tuning peg out and the top um, five strings are closer together the treble strings so now I can play it with ten strings but it's not completely inauthentic because um, there was another type of Nevel called the Nevel Azor, which also had 10 strings. So there you go. 
So coming up, um, I'm going to do a performance of this tune, um, Hymn to Zeus, and I'm also going to use Just Intonation. Now to find out about um, ancient tuning systems, go to the blog section of my website, ancientlyer.com, and I've got a blog of all about ancient tuning methods, complete with um, download links to free MP3s of um, tuning tones in Just Intonation, the way the ancients tuned these wonderful instruments. Very briefly, what is just intonation? Um, <clears throat> just intonation was devised about 5,000 years ago by the very, very clever ancient Mesopotamians when they were devising the very first fretted lutes. In order to put frets on a lute, you've got to very precisely calculate how to divide the scale up. And they did this by um, using, wherever possible, rational numbers, ra sorry, rational fractions to divide the scale up. The more rational the ratio of the numbers, the, more, the purer the resulting intervals. Um, very pure sound um, in just intonation. It's um, almost like, uh, in comparison, modern equal temperament is like a, ro like a rose without its scent. In just intonation, the intervals has an almost three-dimensional quality of sound. Uh, it's at the same time more inspiring to listen to, but also more relaxing. It's almost a, a paradox. It's incredible. <laughs> but how on earth do you get your lyre tuned to just intonation? Well, besides um, the free download links, I've got to just intonation tuning tones, which are in MP3 format, which you'll put on your iPod, and they've got in my website blog about ancient tuning systems. There's a new iTunes app, uh, sorry, uh, iPod app, which I've recently discovered called Clear Tune. Uh, it only costs about two pounds fifty to download, and that um, gives you. Um, the means to tune any instrument to the wonderfully pure sound of just intonation. Check it out. So coming up, um, my live performance in just intonation of Hymn to Zeus. So Almighty Zeus, let's turn up the juice. Hope you enjoy the music. 